my mask up and take it, 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 mask up and take it. What is going on ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks. The only channel where you actually request for me to bring back the pedo stash. So enjoy looking at that fucking thing this whole video. And today clearly we are doing a Mailbox Monday. I've got some stuff here, I've got some stuff on the floor, and I am just ready to dig on into it because this is like the fourth one in a row that we've done. It feels like 2016 all over again. So as always we are going to start with the letters and move our way on to the packages from smallest to biggest. So first up we have a letter here from a Jeremy Wuggler. And in the envelope we have a couple notes. And this first note reads, Hi AJ, it is Moonman82 from your comments. Here are my temporary crowns. They're actually from the same teeth, but kept breaking and falling off. I actually currently have a third one in my mouth, lol. I also want to get real for a second. I'm a newer viewer and I've only been watching for about two months because about two months ago my brother passed away. And I was listening to Slipknot on YouTube because we both loved them. And I came across your channel and found myself watching hours of your videos. Really is helping me through my grieving process, so thank you for that. You also inspired me to start my own mask collection. I currently have an All Hope Is Gone Corey and a British female coming to make the clown mask. I wish I had a mask to send, but I have some ideas for a Vladimir Putin mask that I will make a copy and send to you. I hate AJ Good. Well, that was a nice little letter. I really am truly sorry to um, hear about your loss. Like, that fucking sucks and I couldn't imagine, but I am glad that my videos are helping you. That's pretty surreal to hear. And then we have this second note uh, with a bunch of I hate AJ Goods and then the crowns in there, which I will add to the tooth jar at the end of the video. I'm not going to touch them with my bare hands or my human hands, but I'll run upstairs and grab the tooth jar and uh, we will fuck with that at the end of the video. So thank you very, very much for that. Definitely appreciate it. Okay, next up we have one that uh, doesn't have a name on it, but it came from Happy Valley, Oregon. Okay, it says Slipknot Masks Ghost Slipknot Corey Taylor mask. No fucking joke, someone sent that. It's literally just a piece of paper that has random words on it, so hell yeah. It's no wonder you didn't put a name on the envelope. Okay, moving on to the packages. We have one here that looks like it is international, so uh, I don't see a name on it, but we will go ahead and get on into it and see what we've got. There's some letters in here, so we'll go ahead and check out what the note says. Hey there, AJ. My name is Lainey Hernandez David. I hope I'm saying all of that correctly. I am 16 years old, and I am a mask maker slash prop maker. The mask I have sent to you is the first pull from my new Volume 3 mold. The first cast had many air bubbles and thick spots, so I decided to do my own rendition of a worn-out, rotting Volume 3 mask, like a much older than the one in the museum with the real deal. If you or anyone else is looking for a custom Volume 3 Corey, hit me up at laneydavid666 at gmail.com. Have a good one, mate. Enjoy the mask, Laney. Instagram at underscore laney underscore mask underscore. I hate AJ Good. So let's take a look at the custom volume three. Hell yeah, that looks good. What is up with you guys sculpting just really good volume threes out of nowhere? I feel like every volume three that's ever been sent to me is really fucking good. And a 16 year old made that, that's fucking crazy. I wish I could do shit like that when I was 16. Looks super solid, man. I definitely dig it, definitely does look like a worn out Cory mask and uh, I will definitely add that to my shelf. Along with the one that we got in the Mailbox Monday a while back from Caleb Bland, I just have to make some room, I haven't fucked with this stuff since I brought it down. So, that's fucking sick, definitely stoked on it, and if you guys would like to go grab one, hit them up. Nigga, I hit him up! Thank you very, very much for that, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Alright, on to the next one, this one comes from VJ Burris, aka Doom Room Studios, fellow mask collector slash YouTuber now, uh, if you guys would like to check him out, just search Doom Room Studios. I have a feeling I know what's in here, because I've seen some other people getting some stuff from him lately. But uh, we will go ahead and check it out. Got a note here. First off, it says AJ fucking good. And it reads, Dear AJ, in this box we have the official Doom Room Studio shirt and two stickers. Originally the shirt was going to be mine, but I'm turning into a fat fuck and it doesn't fit me very well. It's a medium and I know you and I are around the same size, so I figured it would fit you. The design was made by Corey Adams. He's an awesome artist and his Instagram is at CoreyAdams88. My Instagram is Doom Room Studios, obviously, on which I am currently 
be doing a giveaway. I'm giving away a shirt and two stickers once I hit 550 followers. The shirt, stickers, and many other cool things are for sale on my Tee Public store. But yeah, enough self-promoting. I hope you like the shirt and the stickers. Keep being badass. Lots of love, BJ Burris. P.S. I forgot to mention that I have a YouTube channel but I already mentioned it for you, in which I post mask-related videos, reviews, unboxings, conventions, etc. Don't worry, bro, I got you. And I am a medium. That is my actual shirt size. So let's go ahead and take these out of here and see what we've got. First up, here are the stickers, the Doom Room Studio stickers. And then in the bag, we've got the t-shirt there, and it looks fucking solid. Uh, I've actually, I've already seen these from other people, like I mentioned, but I love T-Public shirts. They fit really well. This one's actually a T-Public shirt. They just feel really nice. I like the way they fit and stuff. So thank you very much, BJ. I will uh, wear this with pride. Appreciate it. Last but not least is a pretty large package, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move some of this stuff so that we can fit it up here on the table. Okay, this one doesn't have a name on it, so I don't know who it's from. Uh, maybe the note inside will say. It seems to be a reoccurring theme on this channel not putting your name on your box. So let's go ahead and open it up, see what we got in here. And uh, it's a pretty large box, so I assume that there's a decent amount of stuff in here. One bag, a bucket or two, a little football helmet. And then we've got some printed sheets uh, and some artwork. So there's the artwork. We've got a people equal shit thing. We have two envelopes here and a sticker. Corkicle? Core cycle? Cork cycle? I don't know what that says, but uh, we've got a note here that says I hate AJ Good, so we'll open that before I show this stuff off. And then there's another note there for Kate, so I may have to bring Kate down here. This note says, Dear AJ Good, my name is Zachary Lohenberg, and I just want to let you know that you are one of my biggest inspirations when it comes to collecting masks, especially Slipknot masks. Also, your videos are the best ones I've seen when it comes to masks, and I'm always looking forward to seeing a new video every day when I check your channel. And when a new video does get released, it always ends up brightening my day and making me laugh. Thank you for letting me send you my custom mask, and I hope that your channel grows even bigger. Well, thanks for sending me your custom mask. I also hope my channel grows bigger. P.S. There are some goodies inside the box, and you can shout out my channel, Zloenberg. Z-L-O-W-E-N-B-E-R-G. Sincerely, Zachary Lowenberg. So, um, I'll just run through this stuff real quick, and then I'll yell for Kate and uh, have her come down and open this and see what's in there. So, we've got this little tiny football helmet. I don't understand it, but I like it. And uh, then in here, clearly, we have some buckets from the KF of C. Oh, sick. The first fan art bucket. Fuck it. Uh, 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 fuck yeah. I haven't received any custom KFC buckets, which I found really weird because I feel like I plug Buckethead pretty hard and have for a while, so that's uh, pretty fucking rad to get my own House of Masks fan art bucket. That's fucking sick. And then we've got just a regular Kentucky Fried Chicken bucket, which Buckethead did wear. He has thrown one of these on for a little bit of a show. Um, he took it from an audience member, put it over his original bucket, and now the current KFC buckets are actually a bucket head piece. Still fucking stoked on this thing. Bag, I guess I should show this thing off. It's a I Hate AJ Good ball Jason mask on the front. I'm not really sure what it is or what it's made of, but it's fucking weird. Has a little butthole down there on the bottom. Um, and then in this bag, I'm assuming that's where the custom mask is. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that too. Looks like a All Hope is Gone Corey that's been repainted there. I'm not assuming that's an official, which is strange. There's uh, like legitimate straps there on the back. And then obviously the front's been repainted, but it looks fucking sick actually. Hell yeah, this will be a cool combo. This mask and this bucket. I dig it. I appreciate that, man. Thank you very much for sending that stuff in. Uh, truly, this bucket does make my day. I'm super fucking stoked about that. And now that I've got one, I want everyone to send me like their rendition of a fan art bucket I just think would be fucking sick. So thank you very much for the package. I definitely appreciate it. Um, I'm going to yell for Kate get her down here and have her open this note for you uh, so she can read what's in there or see what's in there. Kate! Yeah? You got a note! I do? Yeah, come here. Did you write this? Is this she, did you no, do this? I swear. Who's this from? Um, Zachary Lowenberg. I don't know who that is. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I love it! The bookmark? Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, look how cute it is. That's rad. Yeah, I love bookmarks. You always need one too. Yeah, like I have a lot of them, but I also have no idea where any of them are. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yay. Well, there you go. Okay, thank you. <laughs>
He sent me a fucking fan art bucket, the first one I've ever received. That's awesome. It's so sick. Yeah, it's really cool. I'm actually cool. super fucking stoked about it. Yeah, is it a KFC bucket? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> nice. I thought I heard you get really excited about something down here. Yeah, it's rad. Also, a 16 year old made this. Really? Yeah. I don't know exactly what that means, but that's cool. It's just good. Yeah. Okay, go away so I can close this episode up. No. Alright guys, so that is going to be it for this episode. Another super successful episode. I'm definitely stoked with everything that was sent in. And I can't thank you guys enough for sending stuff in. Super rad shit, like the KFC bucket's fucking awesome, this mask rules. I can't believe that a fucking 16 year old made this, that's fucking sick. Doom Room Studios sending the love with that t-shirt. So I'm definitely excited about all this stuff and I definitely appreciate you guys sending it in. If you would like to mail something in, I am going to add my mailing address down below. That way we can keep this series rolling. This is like the fourth week in a row and that's the first time we've done that in a long time so I feel like people are stoked on Mailbox Mondays again. I'm always stoked on Mailbox Mondays. I love seeing the kind of shit that you guys want to send in whether it is art related or just something you think that I'll find is cool or even just these fucking letters that are like super sensitive to my heart. Ugh. So yeah, like I said, I am going to add my mailing address below. If you guys want to send something in, I'll definitely appreciate it, and I will definitely take care of it and do my best to showcase it here on the channel. Let me get my magic note real quick so I can shout out some high-tier patrons. People like Clancy James, Trenton M, Sir Smiles555, Tyler Macon, Hunter Land, and Ryan Matthew. Thank you guys all very much for your patronage. Very much appreciated. I hope that you guys have been enjoying the rewards that you're receiving. And if you guys would like to sign up to be a patron and support the channel and also receive some cool stuff while you do it, we gave away like everything everything that's been used on the 365 day clown last month so people received everything from the fake blood to the actual west german clown mask that i draped over the 365 day clown to the pantyhose masks to the barbed wire crown of thorns and if you guys would like to see what we're giving away this month, go sign up for one of those high tiers that receives a goodie bag, and you'll get a nice little surprise in your mailbox. I'm gonna add the Patreon link down below. There's a tier level for everybody if you guys want to go sign up for that. And if not, it's cool. It's the thought that counts. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay all this stuff out, give you guys a nice look at it, and that will be it for today's Mailbox Monday. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, we'll see you later.